What's up, everybody? It's your boy, J-Rod. Welcome to the channel. So, today I got some breaking news. Um, well, this ain't CNN, but it is news. All right, so around yesterday afternoon, there was a bunch of flooding that happened in Santo Domingo. And um, pretty much the whole city is underwater. Well, not the whole city, but like a lot of it is underwater. And I was just seeing a bunch of pictures. Like people were sending me like different stuff in my DMs. Tons of pictures of the streets being flooded. Okay, um, people like swimming, trying to find their cars, houses being destroyed. I don't know how many people was at the metro, but it was a lot of people in the metro station waiting for the water to pass through. And you know, like the drainage system is not that good in Santo Domingo, so um, it's a lot of standing water. But the reason why I'm making this video is because it kind of got to me this morning because y'all know how much I love Santo Domingo. Santo Domingo, I always joke with people and say, Santo Domingo is my baby, because it's true. Like that is the city where I fell in love with the country. That is a city where I learned to speak Spanish, where I learned to be an independent solo traveler. You know, um, I mean, I learned a lot of things. Like I had my apartment out there. Um, some of my closest friends, like my best friend is from Dominican Republic. So some of my most intimate relationships came out of the Dominican Republic. They didn't end successfully, but hell, like I learned a lot. But um, yeah, so I do have a strong connection with that country. And so when I saw that, I did feel a little bit bad because I do understand how hard the people do work for the stuff that they have in that country and you know the reality is they're not making u.s dollars you know some people they barely struggling to make like i think the average down there is like 300 dollars a month so you know they don't really got it like that and so when you see situations like this happen like natural disasters and i know like i told you before this ain't the first time that stuff like this has happened but when you do see that it just kind of make you feel like damn like you know you kind of got to be grateful for the stuff that you have because um, I saw this quote this morning because I get positive affirmations sent to my phone every single morning. And um, it said, some of the things that you take for granted are other people's luxuries. And that is true. And this is unrelated to the situation, but that is true. Some of the things that you do take for granted, you know, you got to be looking back like, damn, like my situation could be a lot worse. And I think that's why I kind of felt bad with this because I am going through my own little stuff right now. And it's sometimes easy to get on that bandwagon and start complaining about how you wish your life was this, or you wish you had this and you wish you had that. While on the other hand, it's people that will kill to have the things that you have. So um, that's why I say like, you always just gotta be grateful and thankful for the things that you have. And for the people who are like into the material things, um, be careful with like being cocky and too arrogant with that stuff. Cause what you have today could be gone tomorrow. You no know, God, he can humble people like that. So, but, you know, seeing that with the people down in the yard is like, damn, like some people lost their houses. Some people lost their cars, businesses, or even some people that died. Like, you know, like I saw reports of some deaths and, you know, that's really bad. But I guess the point that I'm trying to make is, you know, just be grateful for the things that you got now because your situation could be a lot worse. And um, there are other people that are willing to have the things that you have. So um, just always keep that in the back of your mind. But, you know, I definitely feel bad for the people down there that was affected because, you know, like these are the same streets, you know, I used to live on in the same neighborhoods I used to walk through. So it's like, I feel for the people and I know what it's like to work really hard for something to have it like taken away. You know, like I've been in situations like that before. So it's like, I feel, you know, for the people, you know, they don't got it like we got in the United States where, you know, you got insurance and things that kind of like help out in these situations. And I mean, some people have insurance, but like I told you, that's a luxury. You know, not everybody has that down there. So, you know, if you making a salary that's less than $300 a month, and you losing cars and homes, like, do you see what type of position you could be in? So that's why I do feel bad for the people down there. That is a terrible situation to be in, um, to lose big things like that that are essential, like your home or your car or your business. But yeah, that's just my little message for this morning. Always, always be grateful for the things that you have because um, it could be a lot worse. Um, but yeah, people in Santo Domingo, keep your heads up. Um, my prayers go out to you and you know hopefully for the people that were affected i hope y'all do bounce back from this real quick but yeah that's all i really had to say i was going out the country next week but i had to cancel and i'm going to reschedule it because something came up last minute it's really important and i don't want to miss this so but this little trip that i was having next week i'm going to have to push that back a couple of weeks because i got some stuff that i got to do but um don't forget to like subscribe catch my next video all right peace mm -hmm.